In a matter of moments, we are going to be joined by James Gallagher and what is his first interview since losing his first professional fight on Friday at Bellator. Do we have James or not quite yet? I think he was, I saw him standing right outside there. Of course, earlier in the day, we spoke to Ricky Van Deas, who defeated him on Friday in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And now I hear the Strabanimal is in the house. There he is, young James. How are you, my man? Please have a seat. It is my pleasure to have you here, James. It's so good to have you here. Have a seat, my man. You doing all right? Things. I'm great. Yeah? I'm great. Uh, turn your chair a little so you can get into the mic right yeah. over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Cool. Um, it's good to see you. Thanks very much. Good to see you as well. I have to say, I didn't expect to see you. Yeah, why not? Well, I'll tell you what happened. Beltor said to me, James Gallagher is going to be uh, in New York going to the VMAs on Monday. Do you want to have him in studio? I said, absolutely. Yeah. But I said, James Gallagher is fighting on Friday. Yeah. What if, you know, things could happen? You yeah. could lose the fight. What if he loses? He'll still be there. I exactly. said, all right. After the fight, I said, is he still coming? He's coming. Yeah. Much respect. I hold my head high. You know, there I was never my, there was never a thought in your never, mind i'm not gonna come never. not to this but just i'm just gonna go home no no never i'll hold my head high i'll go out there and i'll face it i take the loss on the chin literally as i got a smack on the chin and it pit me out. i'll take that loss i take it like a man and i show up and i hold my head high and i'm i'm proud of myself i'm proud of myself walking out there and going out and fighting and pitting everything on the line pitting in that training camp doing everything right, had the perfect camp, did everything right, made the drop to 135, did everything perfect on the lead up. I put it all on the line. I talked and I said I was going to do this and I said I was going to do that because I really believed it. I believed that I was going to do that. I believed in myself. I believed that I was going to go out there and, and beat that guy convincingly. And I didn't. And I, I didn't do it. So I, I don't regret anything. I went out, fair flight him. He, he beat me fair and square. He set me up lovely, banged a nice one too. After the one two, I don't remember anything. I was gone. Still. Yeah, even the kick, like I didn't, I didn't know I got kicked, so I didn't until I watched it in video. Wow. So even though I shot in for the takedown after, I didn't remember I did any of this. So I didn't. I, w I was gone completely. He caught me clean. He caught me lovely. Fair play to him. But I'm, I'm proud of myself. I stepped up. I put it all on the line. And now I'm looking forward to go back. He showed me something that I need to work on, and I'm looking forward to going back and, and making myself better and becoming world champion. Because I'm 100%, I'm going to be world champion. I'm not letting that defe like defeat pit me down. I got beat, but I'm I'm not broke. I'm not I'm not broke. I'm keep going. I can't wait to get back to the gym and go again. What did he show you? He showed me that my mentality was wrong in the fight, and nothing about the lead up, what I said or whatever. I went out there. I'm I'm a I'm a smart guy. I, I fight smart. So I did I went out there looking to kill him. I went out there looking to get in there. I wanted to trade. I wanted to bang him. I, I was getting comfortable. They're just beating him around with the leg kicks, cutting him off, landing me shots. I got comfortable and I wanted to kill him more. I wanted to go go and I just like I could see him when I was breaking him down with the leg kicks. I got overconfident in it. I got that. Whereas I should have stuck to my game plan. I should have went in there, picked him off, hit him with kicks, and got away. Dance it off, keep going, circling. As he comes in again, take him down. That was that was my game plan. And I didn't stick to it, and I paid for it. So now when I go back to training, obviously I improve my game everywhere. But I also need to remember that stick to the game plan, be smart in there. Be that smart fighter that I am. And don't, don't let emotions take over, don't. Don't just want to kill the guy. Don't just want to put everything on him. Just don't want to just hurt him. I can see. I can see if that now is the time where I, I, these wins. It's, it's the win that I needed. Mm. It's not the go out there and put on a performance. I I needed to win. In hindsight, did you not maybe give him the respect that he deserves? Like, did you look past him? Did you not no. think that he was on your level? No, 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 no. Definitely not. I went in there prepared. Okay. For a good guy. You knew guy. about this guy. You knew oh, about yeah, yeah, what yeah, he's done yeah. in the Northeast and yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. I went okay. in there prepared for a tough opponent, and I was ready for a tough opponent. But when I got in there and I started smacking him with leg kicks, and I could see him, I could see him like he was. It was just a, like he was breaking down. If I'd have just danced off and let him keep going, landed my strikes one, like just kept on the jab and the leg kick, 
and then closed the distance and got a clench or something when the time was right because that's what I do. I go in, I pick you off, I cut you off in the feet, put a lot of pressure on, bang hard shots, get you to think that I'm going to stand and brawl with you and then I take you down and do my thing. Mm. There's no one going to stop me on the floor. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, game, I'm levels ahead with that. But I, I got confident in the stand-up, thought I was getting get me away. I could see him break after the leg kicks because I had him a few hard leg kicks and he was... I could see it in him, his leg was getting sore, but he stood there, he stood in the pocket, he never left the fight at all, and he he landed a clean, he set me up, he cut, he flipped it around, cut me off, landed a straight one too, he just caught me in here at the side of the ear, and uh, and that was that, that was gone after that one too. Any I, serious injuries? No, I'm fresh, no, no concussion even. No concussion? No, no, really? it wasn't concussed. Even though you don't remember? Yeah, they said well, I wasn't concussed, okay. the medical. So. Um, he, he was talking to us and he said that you know, you, you were sending him, there was th- the, the, your fans on Instagram, you were talking to him at the weigh-ins, you were talking to him in the in the hallway before the fight, Yeah. and that motivated him, and that gave yeah. him a little extra fire. Is there mm-hmm. any part of you that thinks like, man, I'm giving my opponents now extra motivation? No, that's that's what I do, that's, is, that's how I am. That's, I'll always do that. I regret none of it, not one bit of it. That's just me. Everyone's like, that'll humble you. No, it won't. <laughs> I got knocked the fuck out. I got knocked guy it's not going to humble me because i'm not i'm not that humble guy i'm not that guy that's just going to be like oh do you know what i mean shy off from these things that's not me i go out there i say what i'm going to do i put everything on the line and on friday night it didn't go my way and that's that's that there's nothing there's nothing what why 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 should i change it's because i got knocked out in a fight do you know what i mean it's, i love training like now i'm in new york i'm floating around having the time of my life this past few weeks in this camp, it's the first time I've done a camp in over a year. Yeah, I've had the time of my life this past couple of months. Do you know what I mean? I'm I'm absolutely heartbroken that I got B. Like there's nothing that I'm absolutely heartbroken about it. Like it's it's a, like do you know what I mean? It's, it's annoying that I got B. But I hold my head with pride. Like I keep going. People can say what they want. The few close people around me. We know what's what, and we know what happened, we know what we need to fix, and we know what we're going to do. And that's all that matters to me. People can say what they want. I, I talk, do you know what I mean? I, I hit myself in this pedestal. I talked all that. And people are glad that I got B. If I had of won, they would have criticized me about something else. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I don't, I don't really give a f- to be honest. What did you make of his post-fight reaction you know, getting up in your, in, yeah. you know, standing over you and yeah. things like no problems with that. No problem. Yeah. Respect him. Yeah. If he knocked me the f- out, he can, he he's, he just beat me. Yeah. Do do what he has to do. No disrespect taken. I'll get up and I hold his hand up and I said, well done. You went and did your job. Do you know what I'm saying? He that's a big big moment for him. He came in there and he a lot of pressure was nearly on him. He's fighting me. Do you know what I'm saying? That's a big thing for a newcomer to come in. I know he's big around here and he's won that, but just to come in and like fight me in his first fight, you know what I mean? I'm I'm on talk about fighting for the belt next and stuff. It's a big thing for him, do you know what I mean? Fair fair play to him. I would fair I didn't mind at all. He roared my face or whatever. I was do you know what I mean? He knocked me the f out he deserves to do. Well, I have no disrespect. People are saying he shouldn't have done that. Why not? Why not should he have done it? He just knocked me out. He deserves to do what he wants. He's he's up, he's boom. He just knocked me out. He's up there, do what he wants. So that's how I look at it. When you go on your phone afterwards and you see these people like peers, so to speak, like fellow fighters, people in the fight game, reveling in your loss and your supposed demise, none of that turns you off? You don't You don't feel like, I'm 21 years old, I'm fighting on national TV, you guys are at home you know, celebrating my supposed demise. That yeah. doesn't piss you off? No, not one doesn't bit. doesn't rub you the wrong way? Not one bit. Why not? And because, and it's something that I took from when I got injured, and this is why I, I was lucky. That I got, well, I don't feel I was okay. I feel like that when I got injured, it taught me a lot, and I'm nearly glad that my injury happened. That this mindset that these people have, that stops them from being successful. Uh-huh. That stops them from being successful. It's yeah. Like yeah. Yeah, yeah. That that stops them from being successful. The way that I deal with it is only going to make me more successful. You know what I'm saying? So I feel sorry for these guys. They're they're limited in their success progress.
by how their mindset is. Huh. So that's that's what I feel sorry for them guys. And to be honest, they should nearly even without pit me down. They should ask how advice and how to change their mindset and how to be successful. Because I'm 21 years old. Even though I took a loss, I'm a pretty successful guy. So I'm how is it possible that you're more of a veteran, like in the way you think and you're handling this better than most veterans do? Like the typical thing is you lose, you kind of disappear for a couple of days, you post something on Instagram, you don't do media certainly on the Monday. How is it possible yeah. that you're handling this better than the majority of the fighters that we see out there that lose on a big stage? Because I've got a world champion mindset. That That's why, that's what a world champion does. I took a defeat, I handled like a world champion. I don't, I'm not, I'm not like Buddy Hank just because I talked all this talk that I'm that just getting beat. You, people are saying it humiliated you. I'm not one bit humiliated. I got beat by the better man on the on the night. There's no, nothing to be ashamed of about that. There's not one thing to be ashamed of about that. So the reason he's a good fighter, hats off to him, fair play to him. I hope to meet him again. Maybe the outcome will be different. I think it will be different. So well, I definitely think well, the next time we meet again, I definitely think I, I'm a, I'll beat him, and I definitely think I'll be world champion. There's nothing, there's nothing, no, don't mark me like a, there's no mistake about that. Mm -hmm. I, feel, I feel like that I, that I will do that. But on Friday night, I didn't. That's his moment. Fair play to him. I'm giving. I can't. I give it to him. That's that's his moment. Fair play to him. I'm going to hold my high, high, my head high, and keep doing what I'm doing. I love the game. I'm going back to. I'm flying back tomorrow night I'll be at the gym first thing on Monday and I'll work on what went wrong How it's exciting for me because now I've got something else to work on mm. do you know what I mean and I just love doing this I'm floating around New York now having the time of my life fly home I go back to the gym and have a better time of my life learning on what I went wrong in right so that's just the way it is that's how I take it you get these moments and and you just have to deal with them uh, I've said this before on many different shows and of course, you know, you, and we've talked about it, how you're compared to Connor a lot. And the most impressive thing, in my opinion, about Connor, the time I was most impressed by him wasn't MSG when he won two belts, uh, wasn't when he beat Aldo in 13 seconds. It was him after the Nate Diaz loss, how mm. he showed up, he answered all the questions, he took it like a champ, made no excuses, came back. And what you're doing reminds me a lot of him. Yeah. And I'm wondering if as a youngster you saw that and any of that is ingrained in you that when you lose, you don't run away, you are not ashamed. You take it like a champ, you take it like mm. a veteran and you move on, you yeah. live to fight another day. Definitely, but not not only that, uh, definitely, no, make no mistake about it. I took, do you know what I mean? I could see the way he handled that and I've took like inspiration from that. But since I, this is how I've been brought up okay. by my mother and father, is you don't, you don't run away from anything. Do you know what I mean? The people, why people don't talk before a fight is because they're scared of the big fall. They don't, they don't pit themselves up here because they're going, but if I say I'm the greatest ever and I get beat, then that's a big fall. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not scared of that. I'm not scared of that one bit. So I take it all in. I take it, take it on the chin and I move on. There's nothing to be ashamed of. There's nothing. I got beat. It wasn't my day. I'm going to have only 21 years old. I'm going to have many, many, many more days. I'm in this game for life. I started it when I was 13. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm in I'm in this game for life. I'm not I'm not just lost isn't going to pit me off or do you know what I mean? I'm going to go into my next fight. Talk the same game that I always talk and go in there and do my thing. It's it's just how I've been brought up. You take you take what you're given. And Friday night I was given a loss. I'm going to take it. And I'm going to move on from it and work on it. When's the last time you lost? When I was 15 years old. Wow. It's the only. It's the last time I've been beat in any form of competition. What What kind of competition? MMA. MMA. Yeah. How'd you lose? Decision. Decision. Yeah. How old was the opponent? He was about three or four years older than me. Okay. Yeah. And and was it like a close fight? Was it a robbery where you no, no, no. dominated? He, no. He beat me fair and square. Have you ever been knocked out? No. First time. What's that like? Yeah, it was it sucks. It's not. It's not nice. Yeah, it's not nice. Getting beaten any form isn't nice. It's the. It was one of them. It was devastating. It was absolutely devastating. I went into my dressing room. And I cried my heart out. Okay. I'm not. I'm not ashamed of it. So no, it's it's not nice. It's the worst thing. That it's the worst feeling in the world. I fucking hated every bit of it. But I look back. I've watched the fight about 500 times. Oh, really? Oh, uh, yeah. Start time. to finish? Start to finish, the okay. whole thing. And uh, I hold my head high. The work that I've done to get there, 
how I conducted myself, how I went down, how I fought, how I did ever, how I went about everything. I'm a very proud man. I'm a very proud man. No one, no one will take that away from me. No matter what people say, I'm proud of myself, and um, I've got stuff to work on, and I'm I'm a man on a mission now. I've got a fire in my belly, and I'm coming for everyone. I'm coming for the whole division. Are there certain people who have said things about you that you've noted in your mind that you you feel like they are owed revenge? Every one of them. I'm coming for them all. <laughs> um, you had John Cavanaugh on your corner, of course. What kind of advice did he give you? He's been around this game a long time. I mean, you're lucky to have him yeah. through the victories, but also, also through moments like this, I would imagine. Yeah. What did he tell you in the moments afterwards? You take it. Take it. You take that loss. So it is not. That's what I've done. I've took it. So Evan, I'm going to come back. We're pitting the, we're in the middle now. I've been going back and forward, texting. And uh, we're in the middle of setting up a, a training program. So we are. And uh, I'm going to go back to Dublin now. I'm going to, I'm flying home first and then I'm going to spend a little time with my family in Straban and see my friends there th- during this week. And then next Monday, then I'm, I'm going back to Dublin and we're going to start off this new, new training program and we're going to work on what went wrong. And I'm absolutely buzzing. I can't wait to get back. I'm buzzing to get back. And, and that's that. That's just, this is how you do with it. This is how you deal with it, sorry. And, uh, and this is what we're going to do. We're, I'm 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 gonna be a world champion. I've got a world champion mindset, and this is how a world champion deals deals with defeat. So it is. This is what you do. It's not a smooth road. It's not a smooth road for anyone, and this is just a little blip, just a small, small, tiny blip. When my career is my, my career is done, this is gonna be a small, small little blip. I'm only 21 years old. Got years ahead of me, and I'm gonna go down as one of the greatest fighters of all time. And thanks to Ricky. He has now showed me an aspect of where I'm not. Hmm. He's shown me an aspect of where I'm not that good at. And that was controlling my mind. Hmm. Being too greedy. Wanting to, you know what I mean? Being too over much. Overloading on the shots. Not being smart about it. Not going with the smartest route. And thanks very much to him because he showed me He showed me that. And that's that's why I take my hats off to him. When you say new training program, what do you mean? Like, obviously, you don't want to reinvent the wheel. No, 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 no. Just different little things to work on. Okay. So just structured. We're going to structure, add in a little more, maybe do a little less of that, a little more of that, just okay. that kind of thing. Okay. Um, uh, not not like a new all new program altogether, but we're just going to maybe I'm doing some a little more of something that I should be doing a little less of or and stuff like that. So this is this is what we're going to look at and just in general. How we just the approach in general and switch things up a little. Nothing, nothing too major, because I'm a. I went in there one hundred percent prepared, the best I've ever felt, the best shape of my life. And it didn't work out. Do you feel like a lot of the uh, sort of celebration of your demise is rooted in jealousy? Because it feels like it's a lot of people who don't like SBG yeah. or don't like John yeah. or don't like Connor, and it's all these people hoping that you guys fail. Yeah. And you're now sort of a byproduct of that, yeah, right? Yeah, do you, do yeah. you sense that? It's a pity on them. Pity on them. Do you know what I'm saying? I feel... I feel Why I is there so much jealousy? When you're at the top, that's what happens. So it is. And right now, I still believe that I'm at the top. So I do. And I, and I, never, I never won't stop believing that. Our gym, we're at the top. So we are. We're, we're at the top. Everyone wants to see us fall because of how much we succeed. Hmm. And that's normal. That's their job. So it is. Wait and see how many people tune in now when I fight again in December. Mm. Wait and see how many people tune in. All these people that are coming, writing, haha, I'm glad to see you get knocked out, all this. Pity that you're still not knocked out. I wish you were in a coma. <laughs> all this Jeez, stuff. You read this. Yeah, I, re- I read everything, everything, Earl. Everything. People writing to me, I wish you were still in a coma. <laughs> Does it bum you out? No, nah, I find it funny. I really? Find, yeah, that, Jeez, that, Louise. That I would be so depressed. <laughs> you're tougher nah, than I am. No, nah, really? that doesn't bother me. I actually feel like messaging these guys and be like, if you want advice on like how to approach life, like hit me up. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, that's what I feel like then because... That's that's a better better mindset, and I don't get better. I get better, mm. and that's what I take from this loss. So you say December. I know there was talk of maybe yeah. you fighting for the belt in yeah. December. That's yeah. not going to happen now, no, right? I want to rematch this guy in December. Immediate rematch. Yeah. Is I mean, that a possibility? Yeah, definitely a possibility. You've asked for this. Yeah. And what do they say? Yeah, we're working on it. 
Okay. Yeah. So you think that's what's going to happen? Yeah, I think that's going to happen. In Ireland? In Ireland. You think he'll do it? I hope so. I wouldn't, yeah. If you were in his shoes, would you do it? You just knock, I just knocked you out, yeah. and I'm going to go to your home country yeah. and fight you there. Yeah. Would you do it if you were yeah. him? I yeah. <laughs> yeah. If I can knock you out anywhere, I'll, I'll knock you, if I can knock you out now, I can knock you out anywhere. Right. That's my mindset. So that's that That I, would be your, your, your main, like if they said, what do you want? It's Ricky in Ireland in yeah. December. Yeah. That's that's what I want. Okay. I want I want that. I feel like I can beat him, so I do. I, I feel like I'm I'm smarter than that. Now, from a business standpoint, would it make more sense to build you guys back up and then eventually you rematch on winning streaks? And now it's a bigger fight. I fight in Ireland. It's the biggest business they've ever done. Okay. So Are we talking is. Dublin? Yeah, Dublin. The three arena. Yeah. Or whatever it's arena. called now. Yeah, I think I think think it is in the, th the wow. three. I'm not too sure in the venue or date or anything yet, but in December we're coming to Dublin. Oh wow. So it is. I'm. Uh, yeah, I, I don't. I've, I feel why not? Why not? Let's do it. Do you know what I mean? I I bring a crowd in Dublin. I'll sell the place out no problem. I love fighting in Ireland. I love my Irish people, and and it's it's going to be a good night. It's going to be a good night. Now, what about staying at this weight class? Yeah. You want to stay at one thirty-five? Yeah. Really? I felt great. Yeah. You, I, so you done at one forty-five? No, I'm, don't say done. Okay. I'm okay. never, I'm never done. I'm okay. going. I'm definitely going back to one forty-five. But for now. But for now, this my next. The, the, I'll see. Obviously, I'll do it. I'll play it by ear. But if my next weight cut goes as smooth as my last one did, then I'm staying. I'm going nowhere. Okay. So it is. I'm making my mark here. Wow. I want to become world champion. It wasn't difficult. Well, it was. No, nothing's easy. Yeah. Nothing's easy. So it isn't. But it's doable. Doable and smooth. But you were doing so great. well, one forty-five. Why go through the stress of having to cut the extra ten pounds? Because I'm I'm young. I can I can do it now. Okay. When I get to 24, 25, I probably won't be able to do it then. So I want to become the bantamweight champion. Then when I'm unable to make bantamweight, I want to walk back up. Okay. And then I'll become the 145 point champion. And then maybe even when I'm later, 28, 29, 30, I could go up to 55. Right. So that's that's my plan. So there so was no part of you that thought, maybe I, I, I cut too much weight, I wasn't as quick. No. Whatever the case may be. I felt great. Yeah. There's not, I'm not, there's no excuse. no excuse. Yeah. No excuse. He set me up. He set me up brilliant on the feet. Caught me a lovely one, two, straight down the middle. I actually thought he was going for a hook. And I went like this because I thought it was going to come around. And as I went like that, he just came in the inside and caught me just straight up here. Hmm. And I was gone. I was gone. I don't, I shot in after, after that. But I don't even remember doing it. Then he kicked me to the face, but I was, I can't, I didn't even see that thing. I was gone. So I was, I was gone completely. I didn't even see, I didn't even know he kicked me until I watched the video. Wow. So I did, I was gone. Fair folks then. And, and, and when you watch that video, you said you watched it a hundred, 500 times or whatever it is. Uh, like what, what, what does it do inside? It makes is me it, feel sick. Yeah. It makes me feel absolutely sick. Why do you keep watching it? So I can learn from it. So I can become world champion, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Do you see new things every time you watch yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. And it must piss you off, right? How could I let this happen? Yeah. Why did I do that? For a split second, and then I figure out how to fix it in my mind. I be going, I should have. Rather than going, bollocks, why did I do that? I say, I should have done that. Mm. And that's that's what world champions do, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. And a world champion is what I'm going to be. Mm. Mark me words on it. I'm going to be a world champion. So um, it's what I've dreamed of. It's what I'm going to be. It's what I'm working towards. And I'm not going to stop until it is. And people are going, this is going to finish him. That's him done now. Mate, I'm 21 years old. <laughs> I'm 21 years old. These people that are saying that, nah, we're drinking cans of beer and living in their mass basement at 21 years old. You know what I'm saying? I'm no, Nothing's going to stop me, Earl. I, I'm, I'm better than that. I'm better than that, and I'm looking forward to going back and into the gym and proving the people that believe in me right. Mm. I'm not here to prove anyone wrong. Never have been, never will be. Then people don't matter to me, so they don't. The people that I have around me matter to me. When when my family, when my team or my coach comes to me and says says something that means no, like don't be doing that, then I won't do it. When someone off online or someone says you don't be doing that there or says no you shouldn't be doing that, that means nothing. It means nothing. I'm never going to take it on board. I'm never going to do it. I'm going to continue be me, be myself, 
and do what I always do. Nothing changes. Nothing. What do you say to the people? I saw a lot of people sending me, because I went online and, and, and said that I, I thought that the reveling in your failure was 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 off putting. It was unbe like, just it's gi- sad. Give Ricky his props. Yeah. Say, look, this guy got his humble pie, but like it was almost like a celebration yeah. of a twenty one year old's fall, which I, I I think is also crazy yeah. because you came into Bellator at a very young age. A lot of people nineteen lose. years old. I came into Bellator. A lot of Bellator. people lose on the regional scene. Yeah. Like Connor lost, you know, twice yeah, before. I did. So you're we're watching you mature into a fighter mm. on national television. It's a yeah. little different. In any event, you know, Darren Caldwell lost, yeah. right? I mean, he's a champion now in in um, in Bellator. But a lot of people said like they're classless. Look at Connor saying, "Hold the tap," mm. you know, let let him know, kid, things like that. Mm. What do you say to those people? Nothing. No no energy is wasted on those guys. Oh. Not one single bit of my energy is getting wasted on losers. Mm. I got beat at the weekend. I am not a loser. I am not a loser at all. I've got a winner's mindset. These people are just losers. People that go into MMA fights and get beat. Some of them, some of them are, but some of most of them are not losers. As you say, Connor got beat. He's not a loser. Darian Caldwell got beat. He's not a loser. Do you know what I mean? Winner's mindsets. That's what that is. You climb back. You climb all the way back up to become world champion. And that's what you do. These people are never going to amount to anything. People that... I celebrated my loss. How? I went out and seen... I went to the... I Obviously, I, I wasn't drinking or nothing. Sure. But I went to the little bar with all my people that came over with me. And uh, we had a good night. You didn't stay in your room and... No way. Lick your wounds. I went back. I got a shower. I got changed. I cried my eyes out for 10 minutes. And then I went out and seen my people and thanked them all for coming to support me. There wasn't a part of you that said, I don't want to talk to anyone right now. Not at all. I want to go in a hole. I couldn't wait to speak to people. Wow. Hold my head high and tell them how I'm going to come back from it. Wow. So it is, that's, I've got a winner's mindset. I've got a world champion's mindset. I always say I'm, I'm different. I'm, I'm different. I've got a world champion mindset. And it's never going to leave me until I become world champion. Uh, Connor send you anything? You talk to yeah, him? Yeah, big mess- time. What do you say? So it is what went wrong. He he told you what went wrong. Yeah, he knew. He knew. Really? He could see. It. Wow. We see each other every day. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, we, yeah. My coaches as well. They were obviously speaking. And sure. Says you just and I went there and I, I looked for a scrap. Yeah. A scraps what I got, and I got clipped and I got pit down. Mm. So it is. I should be smart. I'm a smart fighter. Yeah. So it is. I use my mind. I always smart people. I, that's that's how I win. That's how I've always won. I didn't do that this weekend. I went out there looking to kill. Went out aggressive, looking for it, hyped up. It was hyped out of me mind walking in that fight, not clear-minded. But aren't you usually hyped like that? I remember you did that with Chinzo. Yeah. Right? But I bluffed. What so it is my mind stays okay, sharp. gotcha. My mind stays in the game. It doesn't leave. That the weekend, it, it overcame too much. Gotcha. It took over my mind. I always am hyped. This is, I, I'm a hyped fighter. Sure. I always hype myself up. That's, that's how it worked. But it never gets in the way of my mind. I got hyped up and wanted to kill, wanted to knock, wanted a scrap. I just wanted a scrap. So it is like when I was at school and you just go out after school and have a scrap. That's that's what that's what I went looking for. This is this isn't the scrap. This is MMA. This mm. is mixed martial arts. I need to be clear minded. I need to be switched on. There's a lot. I took him down. He got back up. I just tried to hit him. He got back up. I was like. Damn, just let them back up. Who cares? When I take people down, they don't get back up ever. Any Miller fights, I'm on their back. I've got something. I've I'm always ten steps ahead. Do you know what I'm saying? I always have ten transitions ahead. I'm going to take them down. I'm going to pass. I'm going to do this. I'm going to put pressure on that way. That's how I think. When I took him down, I was like, I'm just going to hit him. I just want to hit him. Do you know what I'm saying? That that's the mindset that I went in with. And he stayed calm. He didn't let any of it bother him. He didn't let the talking get in his way. He stayed calm. He stayed cool. Even when I was pressuring, even when I was chopping his legs down, cutting them off every angle, beating them down, he stayed calm. That's a that's a true fighter. Mm. He stayed calm in that that pressured situation. He didn't let the pressure break. And I didn't let pressure get get to my mindset either. But my emotions overcame. Just just hit him. Just kill him. Just pit him down. Just go for a scrap. 
and that's that's where I went wrong. Mm. That's where I went wrong, and he he done what I what I didn't do. Do you think the layoff at like when I, when I was thinking I was like so excited because he'd been out for so long, so excited to get back and get a win and things like that? Do you feel mm. like it almost bottled up inside of you and became too combustible? Maybe it's a possibility. It's been Fourteen months. Yeah, that is a possibility. But I'm not saying that's it. I got beat fair and square. There's no no excuse. There's no layoff. No, no, I'm excuse. not. I'm not trying yeah. to set you up for an excuse. No, 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 but yeah, just internally, yeah, yeah, yeah. you must have been a little more hyped than usual, right? Because yeah, it had been so long. Yeah, definitely was, and maybe it was down to that factor. I, I do not know. Okay. So I don't I, I don't know why, but I was I was hyped up, and maybe it was, maybe it was that maybe it wasn't. But the problem is that I got too hyped up, and I let my emotions take control of me. Now, why that happened? It doesn't really, knows, it yeah. doesn't matter, but I know for again. Right. And I'm thankful for the experience. I'm grateful for it. And I'm blessed that I got the experience that early, early in my days, because it'll, it'll not happen again. You talked to your parents? Yeah. What'd they say? It's the way it goes. Were they worried the for you? Game. Oh, my mother, my mother's by my side the whole time. So she, she, was, she was at the fight? Oh, yeah, she was okay. at the fight. She was by you my saw side. Her afterwards? Yeah, and yep. then I FaceTimed my dad straight away. Why didn't he go? So his, I, he, he had stuff on back home. So okay. Had, um, uh, my granddad's very sick. Oh, I'm sorry. At the minute, so um, uh, he's been looking after my granddad. So uh, he, he couldn't be there. And uh, my mother's by my side the whole time. And it's never like, never like, oh, you know what I mean? Like a pity me or anything like that. It's not how my family works. So it isn't. That's that's not that's not how we are. It sucks you got B. Do you know what I mean? Like, but who gives a yeah. shit? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Who gives a shit? You're, I'm thankful for the experience. I'm grateful for it. And I get back on the horse and we go again. And that's it. And my whole family's going to do the same thing. They're absolutely heartbroken for me, as I'm also heartbroken that I got B. It's not a nice feeling. It was. It was hard. It was. It was hard. And I'm not going to sit and deny it and think yeah. I'm like. Do you know what I mean? I'm, like or whatever but it it was hard to take but I, I can take it all day I can take it I'd imagine Saturday morning like when you wake up and then like you're like that happened last mm. night that that must be really hard like even yeah. more hard than the harder than Friday night in a way yeah because uh, you, yeah. you've just woken up to a new reality yeah. right yeah. it's different but the sun rose I woke up my yeah. mother was there my team was around me we all stayed in the one house we all had breakfast together. All had a coffee. Another okay. day goes on. Yeah. Another day goes on. Do you know what I'm saying? I got beat last night, but today goes on. I'm f- healthy. There's I have no injuries. I can go back training. My family is all good. My team's all good. Everything's good. No, actually, nothing could possibly be better, <laughs> apart from getting the win. Yeah. Nothing in my life could possibly be better at this moment. And it's I, amazing. I hold my head high, hold it with pride. I step up every time, and I'm going to step up again. I'm inspired listening to you. Like I feel yeah. like you're teaching me about life here, <laughs> about, about overcoming obstacles. You're 21 years old. I'm 15 years older than you. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. It's, I, I just can't imagine being 21 and having this kind of maturity. That's why I'm where I'm. Yeah. So young. And look where I am. I'm just a loser. <laughs> nah, you're at the top of your game as well. So you've got a winner's mindset. Yeah, yeah. When you come up, when you see people harassing you online, saying you're this or you're that, do you, does that be like, well, maybe I shouldn't get up right. and go to work tomorrow? Well, sometimes. But, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I was asking you. Yeah. <laughs> so it isn't, I have but, very thin skin, unlike yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, they're thick, we're thick skinned from my neck of the woods. I know. Open Strabam, we're, we're thick skinned and. And that's it. It's it's a kind of your mates nearly pitch you down. Do you know what I mean? And then you go back and forward with them and but it's just fun. We do it for fun. We put each other down for fun just for the laugh and the crab and the crack. Right. That's nearly the mindset, you know what I mean? That's what we do back home. You have you gotta be thick skinned. Right. If you're not thick skinned, you're gonna get walked over. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's just where I come from and that's how I'll always be and I'll never change. People are saying that that'll humble you, mate. If you, if you think this will, th- this just shows how much the people don't know me. Right. If they think that'll f- humble me. Right. Because, well, it, that's, that's definitely not going. It's not. I, I'm going to take it on the chin like a world champion does. And I'm going to move on for it and become world champion. And I would argue that the comeback story is almost more interesting now, right? Yeah. We do see how many people tune in. And you see all these people that are pit me down, people, you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah. See in 15 years' time. 
I bet they'll buy my memorabilia. <laughs> they're, they're they're the people that are going to be buying my signed pictures, right. my signed gloves. So it is. So this is why I don't hit. I don't hit on the haters. Okay. Haters are going to hit. Keep hitting. Right. Keep hitting. Do what you got to do. If that's your job, you do it. Them people, that's their jobs. You know what I'm saying? That's that's their jobs. There's, but I've also got like very very nice messages yeah it's I'm not sure. just it's not just yeah that, and they're the they're the ones that uh, inspires me anyone that stood out the most oh uh, there's loads, loads uh, yeah. there's there's loads i saw carl moore write something yeah, about you carl which i thought Murr, was awesome you know I mean? yeah. very very nice guy carl moore and big thanks to him for for doing that it was cool to see some people have your back within yeah, the community as well exactly. even people that you're not necessarily like yeah, best yeah, mates best with mates right with, do you know what i'm saying because it's a world champ he was a world champion so he was he was a world champion that's a world champion's mindset. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? People with that mindset will know what's what. What's what. You know what I'm saying? Losers don't know what's what. They don't even know themselves. Never mind what other people are doing. So that's why they they do that because they're more they're more worried and interested about what I'm doing. Yeah. Than what they're doing themselves. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? World champions are only focused on themselves about what they're doing. Well, how they're conducting themselves and what progress they have. Then people, they, they don't even know what's going on in their own life. Never never mind about anyone else's and what anyone else should do. Then people haven't even got time to sit back and reflect and go, maybe I should do this different to better my life. You know what I'm saying? Sure. They, they don't even do that. So how can someone that doesn't even know how to better their own life come on and tell me how to better my life? Right. You know what I'm saying? So I don't take that, I don't take that on board. Now, if someone at that caliber who was a world champion, someone who's been very successful at whatever they're doing, no matter what it may be, no matter if you're a businessman, no matter if you're an athlete, no matter if you're a flipping chef, anything, if someone who's very successful comes to me with advice that has been successful in their game and has that mindset, I'll take that on board. Yeah. But some loser who doesn't even know what's going on in their own life, that I'm not even wasting my energy on it. You know what I'm saying? So I just take the positive. Good. And not only positive there's some like there's some like uh stuff like things that have been criticized like not not criticized but like critiqued for in a way that that i need to fix successful people have come told me you need to do this okay don't do that stop doing that do you know what i'm saying and i take that on board it's not like it's not nice hearing that you shouldn't be doing something or you did something that was wrong but it's clear that i've done something wrong like get too emotional and things like yeah, that. That's, that's yeah, that's the one. But there's been other little small things as well. Like successful people have come and says you need to change that. Okay. And it's not nice you sit there and be like, F I need to, you know what I mean? But you take it on board. These people are the successful people. They know what it takes to be successful. And I'll take that on board every day of the week. And I hope I get more successful people with that positive outlook, success, world champion, as I call the world champion mindset. That's just because of the pinnacle of my game as a world champion. So that's why I call it there. But it's just a really successful mindset that you don't let anything get in your way. And that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. And I look forward to doing it. So December, rematch, Dublin, yeah. Ricky Bandejas 2. Yeah. Revenge. Let's do three. Three. Oh, and then you'll let's do, do one. Let's do three. And then do one more. Do one more. Just, let's, just so let's it's all. even it. Yes. All right. This why not? Do you know what I'm saying? Why Why not? If he wants to, I'm, I'm open to that. I'm definitely open to that. I want to be a world champion. I want to be a legit world champion. I want to... I've got something to myself that I need to prove right. Mm. As I say, I don't prove anyone wrong. I never will. I've got something to myself that I want to prove right. And that's what I'm going to do in December if he steps up and takes it. Tonight you're going to the VMAs? Yeah. Who do we want to meet? Who's like number one? Are you like a big pop culture guy? No, you no. Don't, you probably no. don't even know any of these people. It's you're very... Just... yeah. I know Post Malone. I like Post, Post Malone. Malone. Yeah, He's his music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like his music. So it would be nice to be cool to meet him. It's cool. They're still flying you out here. Beltor yeah, loves you. Yeah, yeah. They're not off the bandwagon. No, but there, there is no bandwagon. Sure, sure. There is no bandwagon. Right. People, I am what I am. Real people, successful people. Belter's a successful company. The people at the top of Belter who are running it are successful people. Yeah. They know. They know. They can see. They see things for what they are. Right. They know what's what. Most successful people do, and that's what they see. I'm, I'm just doing. I'm still doing me. Nothing changes. I got beat. I've got a loss on my record. I've got an experience that I have never really experienced at this level before, 
and uh, and that's that. I take it as an experience and I move on from it. I'm going to walk down that red carpet tonight, and I'm going to own that place. <laughs> I'm going to own that I place. No I'm going to walk in there like I own that place. And uh, it'd be nice, but I'm not like a big celebrity kind of yeah, yeah. thing. Of I just take people for who they are. Right. So if I meet some cool people that happen to be celebrities, well, then that's that's brilliant. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Happy, happy days as yeah. such. But if I meet some guy outside it who's not even going, who's a nice guy and is a cool guy, Respect. then it'll be nice to meet him as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? So that's just how I've been and that's how I always will. And and nothing, nothing about me personally will change at all. Nothing, not one thing. Keep doing you, my man. It's an honor to be on here. Oh, oh, thank you very honor. much. It's, it's, it's really impressive. Yeah, it yeah. really is impressive how you hold yourself, you conduct yourself yeah. uh, through the good and the bad. And to me, that's when you really find out who people are. Exactly. When they, when they stumble, how they deal with adversity, yeah. how they come back. Yeah. No one did it better than Connor. And, exactly. Uh, and, and, and you are, and I, you are doing the same thing. That's something I take great inspiration from. And that's something, seeing how he's done it, he's created a path for me. When I quit school, there was no path. There was no one in the UFC. There was no one in the big organizations. There was no one in Belt or from Ireland. He created the path that I could not see, that I was just running with. I quit school with no path. And thanks to him, he was able to go, wait a minute, James, I'm just going to walk this path and open up all the doors, and then now I'm coming right behind. Yeah. I'm fucking steamrolling up that the path. So I'm, <laughs> I'm steamrolling up it, and I'm not going to stop until I get to the very top. Well done. Thanks I wish very you the much, best. Thank, Thank you, you very coming. much. It's Have fun pleasure. tonight. Thank you very much. I will do all Jake right. is going to walk you Thank out you. over there. I really appreciate it. Yeah, Great stuff. Good to be on. Yes, all the best, and we'll talk to you soon, James. There he is, the Strabanimal himself, stopping by. Great stuff from him, as always. What a mindset he has. It truly is impressive how he conducts himself, and uh, I wish him the best. It's going to be interesting to see if they actually give him that shot, that rematch.